Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Camilla. Whoa. Uh, it's 2020, we're in a new year, a new decade has started. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and do like kind of a different um, video because uh, I have been, <clears throat> excuse me, gone for a lot of time this year or the past year, not this year because it just started. Um, but in 2019, I was gone a lot um, and haven't been posting that many videos and just things like that. So I just wanted to make like a little informational video to like, you know, just update you guys on what's been going on and where I'm at right now and things like that. Just a little short, just to give you an <laughs> look into cooking with Camilla, the life. You know, after this, I might be signed to a reality show. We never know. We'll see. I'll let you know if I'll let you know if it happens or not. We'll see. But no, but for real. Um. So, first things first. I am in a different apartment. Um. So, I'm super excited. Uh, in St. Louis, still. Um. Uh, very excited to be in this new apartment. It is. Uh, gonna allow me to make really good videos cooking videos because uh, I have a bright and nice kitchen um, so I'm super excited about that um, uh, so that's the first thing um, so basically I guess in 2019 um, I haven't really shared this with I mean guess anyone really more than the people that are around me every day and that I know um, so in 2019, um, well, let's back off, I guess, a little bit. So for those of you who just watch my videos and know a little bit about me, you know, I'm from Sweden. Um, and in 2019, um, I had a visa that I've had since 2013, I believe, my student visa, because I've been in the U.S. going to school um that expired in 2019 and i had applied for a different visa that um just didn't get approved which caused me to having to leave up and leave uh the u.s within i think it was five days <laughs> um so basically i was just like ripped ripped from the country uh, and had to go back to sweden uh, now, thankfully, my mom still lives in Sweden, so um, I went to her and my grandma, who lives there too, um, and, uh, you know, in total, I was in Sweden for six months last year, if you add all the months together, because I, to I had to go back twice. Um, so, basically, I went there in April of 2019. Um, and then stayed until August, came back to the US in August, had to go back in November to Sweden again to, to apply for a new visa. Um, and now I'm back here in the US. So I'm extremely excited to be back. Um, I'm going to school again. <laughs> so I'm getting my MBA um, at a school here in St. Louis, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, excited for the fact that I'm back here back home because this is my home i've been living in the u.s um since 2012 so going on eight years now um and this this just this is where i belong right so i have my dad here my sister my boyfriend friends my whole life is here it might it may sound weird to some people like well you're from sweden you lived there for 20 years of your life yeah i get it uh, but i moved here when i was 20 and um it was at that point ever since then i've just felt at home here so that's why this is my home sweden is a place where i'm from and i visit there when i can um so it was really tough i had a really tough last year um and just having to you know i was just basically ripped away um with such a short notice and there was nothing i could do i just had to go back so that's just what i had to do um so looking back a year ago from where I was, a year ago from now, it's just thinking back. I know I was so stressed out at that time. 
because um, we had still applied for the visa at that point. So it was just like a waiting game and it's a bunch of different other like factors um, to that too. So it's, yeah, it's just a lot. It's just a story in itself, but uh, it was a really tough year and stressful and not knowing and I am I am kind of a control person. Like I I want to feel like I'm in control of what I'm doing and myself. So for me not to be in control it was it was tough, must say. Um, but we got through it. Got through it. I'm here now. I'm going to school. I'm excited. I'm excited to start making videos here at my new place. Um, I uh, need to, the only thing I need to get to is a new laptop. Because that's really why in, when did, my laptop broke in February of last year. I think it was February. So that's also why it's been kind of hard for me to edit videos because I didn't have anywhere to edit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna, you know, get money and get a laptop, a new one, uh, so I can start making video or edit videos because I have, I have two more videos that I, um, recorded in Sweden now that I went back from November till January yeah um two of them that I haven't edited yet so I'm gonna upload those um and then just start filming again and making videos for you guys so if you have any suggestions or if there's any recipes you want me to make please feel free to just comment let me know uh reach out to me um I love seeing everyone's comments and just it makes me so happy that everyone is still here and supporting and waiting for me <laughs> to drop more videos. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate the support. Um, and I just I just want to do better this year and be, you know, a consistent YouTuber that films and do what I'm supposed to do. So super excited. I hope you guys are here for the journey. I appreciate you sticking with me for this long. I've had my YouTube now for a year and a half, almost. Um, it's been really fun. It's different. Uh, it's different talking in front of a camera, like even the one I'm doing right now. Like even if I'm looking at myself right now, like this is, I'm not used to this. I'm gonna, oh, okay. I don't know how vloggers do it. I'm gonna, oh, okay, all right. We're doing the thing. We're doing the damn thing, okay? We're doing it together. So, I guess final thoughts <laughs> with this video is that mm, if you're going through something, this is gonna sound so cliche, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, if you're going something, going through something, just know it will pass. It will, everything will figure itself out, even though it don't feel like it. And trust me. Um, saying it from experience so just know that everything will be fine um, have faith in yourself um, if you believe in God pray a lot I've had to do that a lot um, and just you know trust the process and this is it's a new year I don't really believe in the new year new me uh, more than the fact that you I'm gonna improve myself that's what I'm gonna do but it's no new new year new me cliche that's not, no no it's the same me but i'm gonna improve and do better and be a better camilla better cooking with camilla everything for this year and to come so thank you again for watching and for even taking your time to watch this little clip <laughs> uh i appreciate it and i just wanted you guys to feel more i guess more in what is, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Here's the Swedish coming out. Mm. Uh, basically, I just want you guys to feel like you understand what's going on and not feel like left in dark or like wonder why I haven't been posting so much this year, this past year, um, but it's coming. Uh, I have some videos, like I said, that I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna put them up there um, and then just start making new videos um for you guys and like i said please let me know if there's any recipes you want me to make or <laughs> anything i'm open and i will do it and i also got <laughs> you guys guess what i got 
got an air fryer. I am so excited. So freaking excited. Air fryer. Yes. So I'm going to be making um, videos with the air fryer because I think that's, that's going to be fun experimenting and see what I can do uh, with an air fryer. Uh, and the food is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Um, so I'm super excited, super, super, super excited. And I can't wait for you to, uh, for you guys to see the first video I make in the new ap apartment, the new place, new kitchen. Uh, so you guys can, uh, take part in that too. So thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And I can't wait to create more with you this year. Thanks.